In this lesson, we'll learn how to begin blocking in the color for our character's hair. All right, fantastic. So uh, we've got the skin tones out of the way. We're going to move on to the hair at this point. And um, just like with the skin tones, I've kind of done a little bit of preliminary work in thinking about where the highlights are going to be. You know, I want sort of these sharp reflections uh, to kind of lay down right around in these areas where I drew these squiggly lines. So, um, and I drew those kind of those squiggles with the flow of the strands of hair. There's one down here. Uh, we may or may not use all of them, but um, at least I've planned out for their locations. So uh, let's come over here to our browns. And you can see here on this brown tab, there's a lot of really light desaturated colors. So um, thinking about these, let's come in here, grab, uh, let's go ahead and just grab our big broad nib we'll pull that up and let's go ahead and make another layer here as well I'm going to go ahead and on top of my skin layer I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer and let's rename this to hair all right great so um, if we were to cycle back and forth here you can see here there's a lot of deeper more rich brown colors in this area but um, let's say we obviously need to have a vision for what we want her hair to look like uh, to say brunette um, there's all different types of brunettes out there so do we want this to be really a brown hair but really with some blonde highlights kind of a sandy blondish brown do we want this to be more just straight brown and um, I kind of think uh, in more along the terms of a sandy blonde with brown mixed in so um, we're going to have a lot of opportunities to mix different colors into the hair that way uh, and I don't want to start off with any of these these are all very saturated colors so uh, let's jump back over here and test out some of these colors uh, let's come over here and make sure we're not on colorless blender you can see even that one there is fairly saturated so uh, let's go ahead and just kind of look at some different ones. That one's not too bad. Uh, I think I like that one actually. So uh, I'm going to come in and just sort of block in the the volumes of the hair using that one. Now you'll notice here again I'm working on the hair layer, so I don't have to worry about destroying any of the work we did on the skin tones. We may have some cleanup work to do in terms of uh, erasing around the edges of the shapes, but we're not destroying any of the skin tones. So. Uh, and this is going to be a really good base color to build on top of here. So I'm rotating around the canvas, and you'll also notice I'm kind of taking my strokes with the flow of the hair here. So uh, some of these areas where I'm not getting complete and total coverage, I'm not too concerned about that. Um, I'm going to come in here at this point, and let's hit the S key and make sure we go over to our eraser. And I am going to kind of peel these strokes away right here because I need to make another pass with the flow of the ponytail. We'll jump back over here to our big broad nib and find a good place to start. Kind of work in some areas back here. Now inevitably there's going to be a little bit of overlap here and that's okay. Um, we're just trying to avoid big distractive uh, areas where the strokes are moving in an opposite direction as the, the flow of the hair. So um, in this one, I don't like this edge right here. and That's going to sort of be a visual distraction if it ends up being visible after we're done coloring. So um, we're going to come in and remove it. You'll notice that these strokes, I'm taking right to that edge right there, but I'm not overlapping them too much. All right, fantastic. So we'll come over here, work on her ponytail, kind of where it's leaving her head at the very top. Now, at this point, you can see here that my brush is making a very thin opaque stroke as opaque as these markers can get so it's very dark uh, let's go ahead and undo that a few times and let's adjust the slant of this particular marker so uh, we can do that right over here in the brush properties and let me just go ahead and increase the size as well so we can see that so here's the orientation of it compared to the hair right now uh, let me just adjust the slant some maybe something like that yeah that works much better Maybe adjust it a little bit more, or a little less. 
All right, great. So uh, you can kind of see how quick and dirty that was, but that will work for what I need it to be. Uh, I'll just come over and clean this up a little bit. Probably not going to want to do a lot of cleanup uh, on the hair as we go along because unless it's just really becoming a distraction for you, being so dirty outside the lines, then um, we're going to be laying down a lot of color here. So you'll end up having to clean it up quite a bit. So I'm doing a really quick pass there before we get started. Nothing perfect by any means. All right, great. Now, I am noticing here that as we were laying down that initial color, I went right over my highlights, didn't even think about it. So uh, let's go ahead and just switch to our eraser if we're not already on it, and just quickly come in and erase away the areas where our highlights were. And I'm gonna do this very quickly, and you can see I'm doing it with a, an eraser that has a hard edge on it, so uh, we're gonna have to come in and fix that, of course. because no other highlights on our character were white, and you guessed it, we're not gonna leave these white either. So uh, I'm gonna come in, just sort of peel back some of this marker. All right, great. So uh, we've got that peeled back. I'm gonna go ahead and hide my shadows and highlights, and let's go ahead and fix that. I wanna come back over and let's grab an even lighter value here. Uh, maybe something like this, and see what that looks like. That looks pretty good, so I'll adjust the slant just a little bit, so we can come in and kind of hit those highlight and highlighted areas again. And we're gonna to need to come in and also kind of smudge those edges because you can see that's still very obvious that we erased in that area. And uh, if we're gonna cheat, <laughs> we better be able to hide that cheating so that nobody can tell we cheated, right? Um, let's come in here. Maybe we'll use a little smaller brush. How about this one here? Just sort of do a little bit of smudging periodically here. Just like so. All right, fantastic. That's actually starting to blend in pretty well. Um, you can see I'm not necessarily blending every single edge, but anywhere where I see the roundness of that brush tip uh, that, that clues me in that I've erased, <laughs> I'm going in and I'm, I'm smudging that around. So uh, just come in just like so. Now I'm also smudging both ways here. I'm smudging the highlight into the darker areas and I'm smudging the darker areas into the highlighted areas. So uh, don't feel like you if, you, if you're following along with me right now, don't feel like you just need to smudge one direction. I'm also coming over and running my colorless blender off on the side just to kind of clean it occasionally. It is getting pretty, pretty dirty pretty quickly here. All right, great. So those highlights right there are looking actually pretty good. They actually look like I planned for those uh, and didn't use my eraser, which I will no longer speak of that after this lesson. So uh, we'll just go along our merry way. All right, great. And we'll just come down here and do a little smudge action. All right, fantastic. So highlights are looking really, really good. Now, uh, the thing about hair like this is we can get away with really dumping a lot of really nice warm hues into it. It's really accepting of uh, reds, purples, um, deeper, darker colors. So um, in the next lesson, let's go ahead and pick up where we're leaving off here, and we'll start bringing in those darker values and, and additional colors gradually into the hair here, taking into consideration the volumes of the hair as well as the light source. So again, we'll get started with that in the next lesson.